Hi, I'm Kermit the Alien, and you're watching Resto Roomba. Happy New Year, everyone! I wish you all a great 2022. In this video, I'm not restoring a robot, but a glowing Christmas ornament from the 80s slash 90s that's kind of a legend, it hasn't been working for a few years now, and my grandma gave it to me to hopefully repair. But as I've seen, there's nothing that can be fixed. This ornament was based on incandescent bulbs, and the majority are burnt, also all of the connectors are falling apart because of old plastic. It is much harder nowadays to get your hands on incandescent bulbs and they are not too reliable, but I wanted to maintain the look of them. In this video, you're all gonna see how I managed to simulate classic bulbs using LEDs. First of all, I need to remove the old wiring as well as the bulbs and give everything a good clean. The remaining plastic could use some retro brighting, so I do just that. While they were soaking, I thought of how to make the star look and glow the same using LEDs. Colored LEDs are definitely not even an option, as the colors, especially monochromatic blue, are very unpleasant to look at. LEDs usually look more sharp and vibrant than older bulbs, so I came up with an idea. I used the old bulbs to make silicone molds out of them, used warm white LEDs to simulate the light bulb, and covered them with colored dress. I painted the bases white to create the illusion that this is, in fact, a classic bulb. I cut off six lights to make molds with, each one in different colors so I can later have a reference when mixing the epoxy resin. Note that the clear bulbs were not originally in the star. My grandmother replaced them because she ran out of cold ones. I made two of these molds to speed up the process a little bit, since epoxy cures for about 24 hours. To prepare my LEDs and make sure they work before I cover everything, I soldered resistors and wires to them. Then checked each and every one with a 9 volt battery. They are supposed to work with 12 volts, so the result is not as bright, but it still allows me to check if I soldered them right. To prepare the epoxy resin, I mix parts A and B using a scale to make sure the proportions are right. Divide it into two silicone cups and color match them using the original bulbs.
I pour the resin halfway into the molds and dunk my LEDs into them. To finish it off, I wait for my resin to harden and to mix more epoxy this time in white and fill the molds completely. I repeat the same process for the green, blue and purplish pink ones. When I completed all my resin pores, I painted over the LEDs using the transparent pigment mixed with gloss varnish to cover up the clear gap between the LED and the resin. I painted the bases matte white and checked every light to confirm everything works. There were, in fact, a few I had to re-solder. I put each light in the original frame in the order as they originally were, by that I mean before the dead lights were replaced. And the hardest part came, to solder 60 wires into two outputs, the positive and the negative. In this case white is the positive and grey is the negative. I checked if my circuit works once again with a 9V battery and I was shocked. This thing looks exactly like the original did. Now to finish it off, I bought this power brick that gives out 12 volts on output. Cut off the connector and measure its wires to make sure that the red wire is in fact positive as sometimes it can vary. Then extended the wires with black and purple since it was too short. I secured everything and soldered the wires to my star ornament. The last step was to put the cover back on. And it works! After about 10 years of inactivity, this ornament finally works again. And I hope it lasts for another decade, if not longer. Because it is LED based, it also uses much less power. So I would rank this as a win-win situation. I hope you enjoyed this kind of off-topic video and I hope to see you guys soon. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. Kermit the Alien signing out, peace.